Hello and welcome to this week's collocations video. My name is Michael and I'm an English teacher and an experienced IELTS examiner and I would like to teach you about English collocations. What are collocations? Well collocations are a natural combination of words and that means it refers really to the way English words are closely associated with each other. So why are collocations important? Well first of all it will help you speak and write English in a natural and accurate way. It can increase your range of vocabulary and it is part of the IELTS band descriptors for writing and speaking tests. So let's have a look at these um, adverbs, okay? And these are intensifying adverbs. So you can see the words in bold are the collocations. So we have the first sentence, Olivia really enjoys doing housework. You should see her flat. It's always spotlessly clean. Spotlessly clean means very clean. But you could say very clean, but if you want to impress an examiner, you would say spotlessly clean. Next sentence. It was downright rude of Antonio to tell Paula that she looked older than her own mother. So again, these adverbs, downright, means it's intensifying that verb of, the, of being rude. So it means very rude. Next sentence, I hope he feels thoroughly ashamed. That means very ashamed. Next sentence, it's blatantly obvious that Olga is only interested in Richard because he's so wealthy. Blatantly obvious means very obvious. Next sentence, I wonder what she'll do when he's wildly exaggerated how rich he really is. Wildly exaggerated means exaggerated a lot. So you can see that we could use the word very clean, very rude, very ashamed, very obvious. But they are very simple ways of talking about your feelings or your verbs. If you want to impress the examiner, you would use these collocations, these words that go together. Spotlessly clean, downright rude, thoroughly ashamed, blatantly obvious and wildly exaggerated. So let's have a look at two more. And we have, I don't know what I was worrying about. The exam turned out to be dead easy. This celebrity website is good fun, but most of the information is wildly inaccurate. And again, it's just the word dead and the word wildly in that context means very, but only in that context. So let's review what we've learned today. We have spotlessly clean downright rude, thoroughly ashamed, blatantly obvious, wildly exaggerated, dead easy, and wildly inaccurate. So practice those collocations, and if you need any extra help, you can contact me for private lessons on Skype, Kakao Talk, and WhatsApp. Thank you very much for listening. See you next week. Stay safe, stay tuned, study English and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Goodbye.